What's the point of going to college and getting a psychology degree when they'll allow the experts of Colton and Eric to run your fucking life? <laughs> to imprison you and lie about you. You came here as a fucking isolated prisoner. As I said, I got nobody. I don't have anybody to hug. I don't have anybody to go out of the shoulder. I don't have anybody. I don't even teach you don't even like each other. Oh, it's killing me. My heart hurts so bad. My heart is so fucking bad. I can't breathe. Please stop doing this to me, please. I'm a damn college graduate. You don't learn the goddamn painter. The goddamn painter! With a fucking adrenaline addiction. And I did a the <laughs> need for instant gratification. You know, the kind where a woman can't bend over in front of him without him having to grab your ass. That kind of weak motherfucker. Bring my kids home. You know why they're such good kids? Because of me. <laughs> he was too busy getting laid and drunk. <laughs> He didn't care about us. He didn't care. And I thought, leaving him with the kids before, he'd be forced to make a relationship with his kids. And instead, he fucking raped them! Ah! He can draw himself! Why would you protect a man like that? Why? Why? He hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything. <sighs> he rode my fucking coattails. He rode my coattails. But I don't even get any credit. I'm shoved to the side of the corner like a goddamn animal. Why? What is an apartment's policy? Cause it's wrong! It's fucking wrong! It's fucking wrong! The police should be helping me to my kids! Either that or give me a fucking gun! Let me fucking defend my children! This is ridiculous! I know! I know! I was with the man for 18 years. 18 years. 8 years of watching that fat cow on Facebook with the name Christensen. Buying their fucking time. Fucking loser. Get a fucking life. You gotta run around by the name of Christensen. Get a fucking life. Get a real boyfriend. You fucking loser! You don't know what you're doing! I'm a real mother, you stupid bitch! I'm a real mother! I'm not playing a goddamn game! They're not dolls to me! They're Nathan and Jessica! They're people! They're people who don't deserve to be used as fucking sex dolls by their daddy! This is disgusting, Eric. Disgusting and terrifying. She doesn't want you, you narcissist. They don't want you. You've terrorized and bullied them into acquiescence. That is not want, you loser. <laughs> and I sit back and watch nobody do anything. And you have daughters. What do you think is going to happen to your daughter? When her husband says she turned into a grandma, she just turned into a slut like a grandma. What's going to happen to her, Anthony? You can't allow this to happen. Uh, fuck you.
fucking go shop at Walmart. Shop at Walmart. And abandon your mom and your little brother and sister. And what chance will your daughter have? Your daughter will be a slut just like her mom and her aunt. When we didn't do nothing. We didn't do nothing. I'll live my whole life being different. I'll live my whole life being different. And now the bitch steals my kids. The very one they claim I turned into is the one they're protecting, stealing my kids. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare that never ends. Somebody help me. I don't have military training. I'll be glad to learn, though. I'll be glad to fucking learn. Oh, somebody has to protect the kids. And not from a machete across the ocean. From their dad's nine inch penis. Unfortunately, you don't have to do anything wrong. All you gotta do is look wrong, think wrong, get a stain on your clothes. The internet's evil. That's all it takes. Ah! No, my denial. My denial. He's not a delusional fucker on a power trip. Ah! That's why he never leave his coward ass who would threaten to leave. Oh, but I never did. So much, you pussy. Just because you were too much of a fucking coward. Because he didn't understand why I didn't beg him to come back. Because I look back over our marriages. Why do I even care? Go. <sighs> this is all he's ever done has hurt me. This is all he's done in 18 years has hurt me. So he talks a wonderful fucking story. He talks a wonderful story about how it's like having cancer and he wouldn't leave his wife with cancer. No, he wouldn't leave his wife with cancer. He'd just steal her kids. And I know when my kids are crying, but they're like, I'm tired. I'm tired and so do the cops. You know damn well what that means. Uh, quit treating me like I'm the one with a problem and help me. Uh, let me do spring break. Uh, tomorrow is the day is Sunday. So they have to ride their daddy today. Uh, uh,